Welcome to part three on the Indy 600. Kind of part two since we counted the intro as part one, but it's part three. So there. Part three. All right, so this time, I don't know, our plans aren't that big. We're going to get the track and skid out, check all the bearings, probably just replace the chain, chain, chain case jack shaft bearings, clutch side bearings, just because... All that's got to come out anyway. Yep. 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 Yeah. That's what, that's our, kind of our normal go-to anytime we do a sled. Yeah. That's, that's sat around for a while, we want to make sure all that shit gets replaced and... All the bearings are good to go for the rest of the season. So. Yep, you bet. Bearings are cheap, so we're just going to do it. And uh, hit that subscribe button. We're getting close to our 1,000, and uh, we really need you to hit subscribe. And uh, if you think you're already subscribed, please double check and make sure you really are, because I've been hearing stories about YouTube unsubscribing people, and they don't even realize, you know. No. And then uh, also, make sure you hit that notification bell. And see if it actually works. People have been telling me the notification bell isn't working. Like, oh, okay. I don't know. I got notifications on some channels and it's working. But uh, anyways, go ahead and hit that bell. And uh, Lonnie and I, well, we're going to get after uh, after the sled right after we eat some pizza. One more thing. Leave your uh, comments, too. We love them. We love yeah. the comments that are coming in. Uh, we actually, uh, Mr. Nutter actually did use uh, the... Uh, one of the advices that came in through a comment to use the hoist that we have here oh, sure. for pulling that motor out by himself. So they, they saw it on part two. It worked great. Yeah, they saw that on part two already. Excellent. All right, we're going to get at it. All right, so we got the chain case cover off. Uh, this, is a, this is impressive. Uh, we got ATF, training fluid in there. Right? That's a good that's, sign. That's the good stuff. Yep. Yeah, ATF is the proper stuff to use, yeah. not uh, not 90 weight gear lube. Yeah, and she's clean, looks good. Uh, yep. we, yeah, we got one, 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 one of the bolts that uh, pulled a thread, so uh, we might be looking for a chain case. We'll see. I got chain cases. I got yeah. chain cases. All right, and we got the skid out already as well, so uh, we'll have this thing apart in a couple more minutes. Well, we're just taking stuff apart, and the bearing looks pretty gunked up, but can you see this? You see what I'm pointing at? Yeah, i got to weld up a crack in the bulkhead. So, uh, we'll be doing that before she goes back together, too. Well, the uh, clutch side drive shaft bearing didn't fight me at all, because uh, it's broke. It's broke. The set screw didn't do anything. Set screw is still down there on the shaft. Good thing we were planning on doing bearings anyways. Alright, so we're taking a look at how to get this uh, liquid cool out of here. Uh, chain case is free, but uh, um, this thing is, it, it, the, the case is sealed over here on the back side, so this has got to come out. So I think we're going to end up having to split that caliper, pull these out. Yep, I think you're right, and, Lonnie. And rock, and then rock the whole thing. Yeah. Out this way. Yeah, we'll just take those bolts loose and split the caliper, and then we should be able to take the chain case right off. Yep. And the, the reason we're doing that is because the uh, the uh, rotor for the for the brakes stays on the drive shaft, or uh, I should say on the jack shaft. Stays on the jack shaft. So if we split that, we can just leave the rotor where it's at, and everything will be fine. Yep. We, we like it when it comes apart that easy. Yeah. That was, uh, yeah. I said, Lonnie, hang on, I'm going to get the camera and film you pulling the drive shaft out. And he reached in and grabbed it out. Like It just came out. Just fell out in my hand. There basically. was no struggle to film. No struggle at all. So here's this track that I am not too fond of. Yeah, yeah. That's no good. This, this one over here, that's a little bit better. All right, here, here's a little detail of the crack I got to weld up. Uh, you can see I drilled out the ends of the crack with a quarter inch bit, which is quite generous. You could probably go three sixteenths, maybe even an eighth. And uh, so it stretches all the way from there through there. And uh, the way you get these cracks in your bulkhead is because you use cheap farm store bearings with the eccentric collar. 
Those always create runout, and the runout makes this uh, flange flex, and that's how you get the crack. So don't use those crappy, cheap farm store bearings. It's not good for anything. Well, I got the sled tilted up for welding. Let me show you just how rusty these trailing arms are. Check that out. Pretty gross, huh? And uh, the bottom, or the I should say the right-hand side, isn't looking so good either. So uh, I do have a, a couple of really nice sets of round arms, and one of them's going to go about on here. That'll be, you know, in an upcoming episode. So all is not lost there, and I believe there's really nothing stopping you from putting later square arm, you know, trailing arms on one of these sleds, except that it'll look wrong. All right, TIG welding's done. Had to grind a little bit right here and right here, just so the flange would have a nice place to sit, and uh, you know. It sits pretty good, it sits pretty flat. Uh, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. There's a reason why this is like a spherical bearing fit, but it fits pretty good. And uh, I think it'll be just fine. Cheers. All right, I'm gonna wrap up the video here. Seems like a good place to stop. Yeah, I'm by myself. Welding's not a team sport. What can I say? And the welding had to get done. Um, so next video, we're going to start getting this thing back together. i got to start scrounging around for some parts for some upgrades I want to do. What upgrades, you might be asking? Yeah, maybe there's some hints sitting here. Hmm. Maybe in the, on, the, on the camera right now. So uh, with that said, um, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet. And uh, I want to thank the patrons. Aaron Shriver, Michael Johnson, Matt DeFossi, Charles Myers, Alex Shirell, Brandon Pariseau, and Dan Hassanut. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. I appreciate everybody that's leaving comments on the videos. Get a lot of awesome comments from you guys. And, um, you know, hit subscribe, and we'll see you next time.